Well, I'm on the facts of Mars. And it seems that the liberal Democrats are uh, finally starting to admit to their constituents that there isn't going to be any evidence of Trump Russia collusion. Well, I could have told you that four months ago. Unbelievable. From NBC, MSNBC politics shows to town hall meetings across country, the overarching issue for the Democratic Party's base since Trump, Trump's victory has been Russia, often suffocating attention from other issues. This fixation has persisted even though there's no chance to sink Trump presidency unless it's proven that high level tr high levels of the Trump campaign actively conclude with a colluded with the Kremlin to manipulate the outcome of the US election, claim for which there is absolutely absolutely no evidence has thus far been presented. I could have told you that. Principal problem for the Democrats is that so many media figures are online charlatans are personally benefiting from feeding the base, increasing the unhinged fact-free con conspiracies, just as right-wing media polemicists do after, did after both Bill Clinton and Obama were elected. And there are now millions of partisan soldiers absolutely convinced of Trump-Russia conspiracy, for which, at least of, as of now, there's no evidence. And they are all waiting for the day when they regard, which they regard as inevitable and imminent, when this theory will be proven and Trump will be removed. Uh, uh, speaking of wackos, I'm not going to play this video, but Maddow thinks that uh, Russians are controlling our government. Like I said, speaking of wackos, kind of reminds me of that uh, woman who you ever seen lights of Zatar? She uh, was lying there on the floor and saying all sorts of guttural things, and lights are flashing on her face. Kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, key Democratic officials are clearly worried about the expectations that have been purposely stoked and are now trying to tamp down them down. Many of them have tried to signal benef beliefs on the base of has been t led to adopt no basis in reason or evidence. Yeah, there is no reason or evidence here. It's just they're trying to explain, using a fantasy, how it is Trump could have won. Last official throw cold water on MS NBC led circus is. President Obama's former acting CIA chief, Michael Morelli, Morrell, makes him particularly notable in this context is that Morrell is one of Clinton's <coughs> most vocal CIA surrogates. In August, he, is not only, he not only endorsed Telegram Hillary in pages in the New York Times, but also became first high official to explicitly accuse Trump of disloyalty, claiming in the intelligence business we would say that Mr. Putin has recruited Mr. Trump as an unwitting agent of the Russian Federation. But on Wednesday night, Morrell appeared in an intelligence community forum to cast out on allegations that members of the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. And the question of the Russian Trump campaign conspiring with the Russians here, there's smoke, but there's no fire at all, he said. There isn't even any smoke. Just a lot of noise coming from idiots like you. There's no little campfire, there's no little candle, there's no spark. There's a lot of people looking for it. Uh, you, you commie liberals just don't get it, do you? We're tired of seeing our country invaded. We're tired of ever increasing taxes. We're tired of a government that grows bigger every day 
and is intruding more and more on our lives. We're tired of it. This is why Hologram Hillary got defeated. Working people get up every day, want to be treated as more than just numbers. We've been ignored for too long, Democrats. This is why you lost the election. It has nothing to do with the election. You know, out where I live, I live in a semi-rural area. We don't even exist as far as the people up in the city of Rochester. News reporters, unless somebody dies in an accident or a murder down here, which is rare, they don't even mention us out where I live. In the city of Rochester, if somebody breaks a nail, it gets mentioned. We're tired of being ignored. We're tired of being treated like we don't exist. And that we're just expected to obey the people in the big city. This, These are some of the reasons why Hologram Hillary got defeated. It has nothing to do with the Russians. Doesn't mean I like the sons of bitches, but it has nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with you Democrats failing to respect us and even acknowledge us in what we think. And the Republicans really aren't that much different anymore. That's why we call them rhinos in lots of cases. And along comes Trump, he's kind of independent from all of you. And he says, we're going to get the borders shot, we're going to cut taxes, cut the size of government, so on and so forth. And we said, yeah, 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 there's somebody saying what we want to hear. This is why Hologram Hillary yet defeated you Democrats. It's because you idiots don't care what we think. And uh, you don't care... You just want to move more and more into our lives, tell us what we can eat, what we can drink. You want to force Agenda 21 down our throats? Trump is dead set against that. America first. And that's for, you know, everybody, not just people white skin colors. For blacks, yellows, browns. Anybody who calls themselves probably an American and wants their freedom, which is what this country is supposed to be all about. So there you have it, you Democrats. You want to know uh, what it is we want? Uh, just read the Constitution for what it actually says. Because you Democrats, I said Democrats. You do as bad of a job as uh, reading the Constitution as some of these preachers do of reading the Bible. That's a whole, I'm not going to get into religion right now, but believe me, they haven't read it for what it actually says in many cases. And you Democrats, you read the Constitution and you see exactly what you uh, believe, what you want to see, not what's actually there. Then you wonder why Hologram Hillary gets de got defeated. Well, there you go. I run a fax of Mars. I run a little long on this one. Have a nice day.